I'm Philip Mayher. I am the Living History Coordinator for the University of West Florida Historic Trust. Uh, what we do out here is we bring the early 19th century to life every day through a variety of living history educational programs. We do well, various crafts and arts from that time period. We do cooking uh, using recipes from the early 19th century. Um, that's what we're out here doing today. We are cooking Johnny Cakes or Ho Cakes, which was a common colonial dish. All right, so hoe cake is essentially a predecessor to our modern cornbread. It could be in its simplest form, cornmeal, uh, maybe a little flour, maybe not, uh, some water, and some salt. And you just mix that into a batter and essentially make a pancake out of it. Prior to the early 19th century, there was no chemical leavening, so all of these little cakes and breads would have been unleavened, very dense. But around the beginning of the 19th century, we start seeing chemical leavening coming about. That eventually turned into baking powder, and of course that would make your breads light and fluffy. And so over the course of the 19th century, we see that transition from a small, dense corn cake to a more light, fluffy cornbread that we have today. So most folks think that hoe cakes uh, get their name because they were cooked on a garden hoe out in the field. But when you do a little bit more research into it, it turns out that hoe was an early English word for a griddle from the uh, late 17th century. And over time, that was lost to time, and it just uh, has kind of become a myth that these were actually cooked on garden hose, but not quite the case. <laughs> 